Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to another tutorial. Today we're actually gonna be talking about how to go ahead and create realistic camera movement inside of Premiere Pro. Now this obviously is not gonna be as great as After Effects' like camera movement, etc. but we will be able to use a couple techniques to go ahead and sort of fake camera movement and like fake that like we're acting as a camera. But before we go ahead and get started inside this tutorial, I want you guys to know that I actually sell editing packs and presets for content creators just like you over on my online store, link down in the description. Now that's out of the way, let's go ahead and get started in inside of the tutorial. All right, so first things first, you guys wanna go ahead and add an adjustment layer. So go ahead, just add the adjustment layer. We're actually working in a 1280 timeline, which don't do that. I don't, I'm literally just doing that because the real downloader does 720p, it is what it is. So let's go ahead and just go and create a little bit of a zoom in during this clip. So say we want to like zoom into her a little bit. So let's go ahead and fake that. Yo, real quick, before we continue with the tutorial, I want to let you guys know that the ultimate solo creator bundle is out now. And hands down, this is the best product that I've made. I've spent the last year and a half creating this preset pack. So that way I don't have to keep doing repetitive tasks. And through this kit, I was actually able to optimize my workflow. So now I don't spend hours and hours each and every single day editing content. Like now editing is just a simple drag and drop process. And like, I genuinely mean that. I use these presets each and every single day and they're actually pretty gas. So if you want to be able to edit like me and plenty of other dope creators online go ahead and check it out down below in the description and let's get right back to the video the biggest thing with faking camera movement is you want to apply the movements to an adjustment layer meaning it applies to the adjustment layer so that if you have text or icons below the icons and text moves according to the adjustment layer as well kind of replicating the camera movement so let's go to transform this is sort of the goaded like plugin for making movements because it allows you to add motion blur and motion blur is a key part of of making it look like a legit camera because if it's not then it just looks jittery and weird and you can tell it's not a real camera so first things first let's go ahead and create like a little bit of a scale in keep it very simple so let's go ahead and scale let's say we want to scale in from right here to like right here just like that nothing too too crazy and then just go ahead select these two keyframes uh, go to bezier because it's an intermediate sort of keyframe it's in between the clip it's not at the beginning or the end it's an intermediate meaning in the middle, intermediate, in, in the middle. I guess that's kind of a good way to remember it. Let's go ahead and go to these keyframes and make it like a smooth sort of like arch in the middle. Okay, that's a little too, just like that. Maybe on the beat a little bit. Sick. Fire. So that actually looks really good. Nice, cool. So we got that out of the way. Now let's go ahead and sauce it up a little bit more. Honestly, you could like leave this as is. And real quick, before I show you how to sauce it up a little bit more, I wanna show you guys what happens when you put text below an adjustment layer. So this is with the text above the adjustment layer. It doesn't look bad, but if you wanna really sell like the 3D sort of effect, you do that. So that way it moves with the actual like scale in. And that just kind of makes it look a little bit more believable. So let's go ahead and keep editing. Let's make it a little bit extra saucy. So sometimes when you're zooming in on a camera, you're going to lose focus. And how can we like fake the camera, like losing focus or like adjusting? We go ahead and add a blur. So go to effects, add a blur, add Gaussian blur. And you're pretty much just replicating like a real camera. So add a keyframe, make it to where right here, it like loses focus. So we go ahead and just make it a little blurry and then say catches focus real quick. And then let's just say we lose focus again. And then we finally get it back in focus after like the zoom is done. Let's go ahead and see what that looks like. As you can see, it kind of looks pretty sick. Um, let's go ahead and fix it up a little bit. Maybe this could be a little bit tighter, just like that just like that so that's super sick already we're kind of getting a realistic camera vibe um looking really sick not gonna lie so the thing that's really cool is you can actually go ahead and create like a preset for the gaussian blur and for the transform for the zoom in which i have a video on zoom ins you can go ahead and watch that video but yeah so that's a couple ways to add some sauce so let's go ahead and show you how to really sell depth because right now we're kind of not really selling depth too too much let's go ahead and bring the young la clip over here and then we're going to like really sell some depth so i'm going to go ahead and go to my preset pack take over i'm going to make it just slide in up just like so that's a little fast so we're going to slow it down a bit Okay, sick. 
awesome so we have it sliding in up but it like literally just looks like it's all one dimensional so how do we fix that so essentially we're just going to fake the aperture and using the same thing the gaussian blur that's exactly what we're going to do so just type in blur select gaussian blur just like so and then we're going to go ahead and add the blur to the background so we're going to start it off with it in focus then as the text comes up we're going to fake the camera focusing on the actual text so the way we do it is we just go simply like that and let's say it's like still in focus on the background and then say the camera starts to catch focus on young LA like that. So that's really sick. Just like that. Maybe drag it out. Killer. And then let's say the camera for some reason just misses focus on the young LA and it like focuses on him again. We do the same exact process, but just like kind of interchange it. So when the background gets blurrier, the young LA text gets sharper. But when the young LA text gets blurry, the background gets sharper because we're faking the camera focusing on him rather than the text. So real quick, I'm just going to go ahead and show you like kind of how I would do something like that. So we're going to go ahead and just say loses focus right here. So it loses focus. And the closer to the camera, the more blurrier. So we're going to go ahead and just do something like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and take note of this. And then I am going to, okay, so it starts to lose focus. Then we're gonna go ahead and just bring this back down, just like that. So it's on focus on Young LA, and then it focuses back on to Mr. Shush, bruh. So let's go ahead and just see how it looks full speed. Honestly, it's probably not gonna look the greatest full speed, but you guys can kind of use this principle and tweak the keyframes to make it look dope. Like, yeah, that's for sure way too like fast, but slowing it down just like this. And you can kind of see the, you can see that the depth is like sort of taking place just like so. And it looks like a legit camera. So anyways, guys, using those methods that I just showed you in this video, honestly, you're going to be able to add so much extra sauce to your short form content, your long form content, your dope edits, whatever it is, you can use these methods to make it look really, really sick. So if you guys have any more ideas for tutorials, please let me know down in the description what you guys want to see. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Remember, take actions, take over. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.